chucks at 23. If this is TMI, just skip. It's time for a birthday glow up bestie. Justin Bieber. What do we think? Do we think I did a good job? Why do I feel all shy starting the vlog of an evening? I feel like I forgot how to speak to you guys. Welcome back to a vlog. It is dark outside. I never start my vlogs of an evening, but all I've done all day is literally sit on my laptop and edit. So I've just jumped out the show. I actually washed my hair, which again is something I never do of an evening. Like it's so unlike me, but just thought it's one less thing to do in the morning. So that's the vibe this week. We are being, it's actually my birthday. I actually, um, you know, some people are like, I don't celebrate my birthday. I do. It becomes a whole personality trait for the whole month. Not that I've got major plans, like I'm having a very low key birthday, but it makes me very excited. It always has since I've been a little girl, just a birthday. I feel like when you're little, it's like presents, like fun, like party. I feel like when you get older, it's just like another chapter, another year, like another blessing. I feel like it's so, such a special time. So it's my birthday and the vibe this week is just having fun. It's my birthday vibe. We are just going to really focus on ourselves and going into our 23rd year as spiritually aligned, as positive, as motivated, as grateful as possible because that's the most important and obviously as healthy as possible. I have not been feeling the best which is why I feel like I haven't got any plans which is so unlike me like normally I've got a full itinerary of birthday plans I'm like I'm doing this on this day with this person I'm doing this on this I've literally got nothing but this is the first year ever that Ollie's actually off work for my birthday other than the first birthday we were ever together we were literally 16 and I had a party my mum let me have a party here so we've like spent the evening together I can't really even remember what I would have done in the day but this is the first year we've been together nearly eight years we've never been able to spend a birthday together because he's always been at work and i mean the selfish reasoning i might have the day off it's my birthday but we always just celebrate like the evening and the weekend so we've never spent the day together so <laughs> it feels really weird so i don't know what he's got planned for us but obviously that will be all revealed in the vlog i am just doing some skincare i actually got this product yesterday if you watch my like reset with me it was like a monday reset routine this is the garnier vitamin c two in one brightening serum cream it's a daily one so i'm not going to put it on now but they've got a nighttime one and i thought i'll try the day one first see if i like it and then maybe go for the night one i think i will because i used it today and i really like it it's this it's vitamin C brightening serum cream and it's got SPF 25 in. So I just feel like it was so cool. I had to pick it up. Got it on Advantage price for like £7. Was so pleased. So yeah, to wash my hair, I used the Vodus Cleanse It range. This is the Illuminator shampoo and conditioner. Really good. I've had it for a few months. I'm almost out. And if I'm using a product like that, you know it's good. So yeah, I'm just gonna spray some of this. This is the Solde, I can never say it, Solde, Solde Janeiro, um, it's like the Bum Bum brand. I'm just gonna spray a bit of their milky leaving in my hair. I had this up for holiday and I really liked it. One, because it smells gorge, and two, because it just left my hair feeling really silky. So yeah, I just saw that and thought, oh, we'll give that another whirl. So yeah, we're just having a little bit of a pamper this evening. That's Oliver. Any chance you could please make me a protein shake and I'll bring you a cup of tea up when I come in. How can you argue with that? He's just gone to the pub. This is the UK Lash Serum. By the way, if you're thinking about being a content creator, don't get the iPhone 14 Pro Max. It's the worst camera I've ever come across. Like when we first got it, I remember being so disappointed and I feel like because I'm stuck with it, like I've just cracked on, but I've just tried to film an ad. I know it's dark, but this isn't a dark, like a dark room. The light is actually really bright. It's literally like filming on something that I got in 1990. Like it is awful. It's so dark, it's so pixelated. Like it's just really hard to work with. And I feel like when Apple are charging you, what, upwards of a thousand pound, it should just not be hard. Like you should be able to do anything and everything on it. So yeah, kind of annoying, but 
welcome back to the vlog guys i really missed you i am really excited to spend this week here but i feel like this is going to be an exciting one because it's my birthday so i haven't got any like super solid plans this week tomorrow i'm going to go over to birmingham and then i think i'm going to see mia in the afternoon thursday i'm going to see my grandparents Friday I'm going to have a birthday day with my mom and Mia and maybe my little brother because I know he's got Fridays off at the moment and then Saturday it's my birthday so honestly that's up to Oliver to make a plan but I'd just like to go for some nice food maybe like a farm shop like I don't know I've never even had a birthday on a weekend since I was what 16 so like it just I don't know what to do like normally it's like a late morning have a cup of tea open my cards go for some lunch then just chill like maybe see my grandparents and then before you know but Ollie's home and we're going out for a meal so I'm like I don't know I wish I would have asked you guys in last week's vlog how I should spend my birthday because I feel like you'd have the best ideas I might pop it on my story so yeah that's Saturday and then Sunday it would just be again like a Sunday roast and just birthday celebrations so i want to get back in the gym this week like i've got to i want to do some fun workout classes carry on with the healthy eating vitamin it up and all of that so yeah just wanted to say hello and start the vlog here i am gonna go and make ollie that smoothie i'm gonna dry my hair because i do not want to go to bed with wet hair i feel like that's how you get ill so i'm just gonna run the hair dry through this and then mckenna uploaded a vlog so you already know what i'm about to be doing while ollie's at the pub <laughs> Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. No, it's not, it's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. I didn't end up drying my hair last night because when I got out the show, my auntie actually came around and it was either like sit upstairs and be antisocial and watch McKenna while I was drying my hair and things or go downstairs and be social. And I actually chose the latter, which I don't know what was wrong with me, but I was like, oh, I haven't seen her and it's both of our birthdays, like the next week or so. So I was like, no, I'll go and sit downstairs. So my hair actually dried naturally and this is how it dries. I'm actually really lucky because it just dries very like straight. But underneath, if you can see, this is like the only bit of texture I ever get in my hair. Like I just get these like, I don't know it's just like loose waves i guess but when i was younger i'd say more like 16 i used to get that all through my hair so i used to have to straighten it really because it just looked a bit wild but as i've got older like the the top layer really just dries and then the bottom layer like is still like it's just a bit wild but my mom has like a proper like as if you've got permed hair like that's her natural hair i don't know where that gene went because me or my brother neither of us have got it but i'm always like oh it would be kind of nice to have curly hair i feel like you always want what you don't have like people with straight hair want curly hair and people with curly hair want straight hair so we just stick with what we've got because no matter what we got as humans we will always envy someone else which is not the way to live but i woke up this spot but i'm on my period so i'm gonna give it you know i'm gonna give it oh my, honestly these piercings have not healed unproblematically i'll tell you that I, I had a keloid on it at one point on the back of this one i think it's like recovering but i got a keloid on my belly button so i don't know whether i'm susceptible to them or what but i've only ever had problems with like like cart is that cartilage even i don't know i was gonna say only with cartilage but i guess your belly button's not cartilage that was a complete lie but look what i got on the tv i typed in on youtube autumn ambience telling me that's not getting me in the autumn feels in the back of my getting ready station listening to that crackle it's gorgeous so yeah like i said i've got this horrid spot but i'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt because i've got a few spots and i'm thinking that's probably just hormones so we're just gonna ignore that and let it go this lip balm is actually really good it's the by la strawberry lip balm it's really thick and it really does hydrate your lip And it stays glossy whereas the Laneige sleeping mask really like what's the word it what is the word that I'm trying to think 
it dries down very quick oh this is the garnier thing that i was telling you about so i'm just gonna do a little pump this how it comes out it's quite watery it's not oily it's so nice like it just you don't need a lot it's really lightweight and the fact it's got vitamin c and spf in i love like it actually adds such a glow i don't know if that will show on camera but especially like around my cheeks i feel like it just wakes me up it's really nice and it's really nice paired with this under the eye which is the kylie skin honestly really good like it doesn't leave my skin feeling like you know some spfs can make it feel quite greasy this just feels nice and like almost like ready for makeup really good i really like it i feel like i'm saying 100 things at once this morning i also this is my new drink of choice now i'm off the caffeine it's been nearly two weeks two weeks tomorrow and i've had not a drop of caffeine other than i have had two full fat cokes which has got caffeine in but i haven't had coffee i haven't had tea if i've had tea i've had the decaf tea and i've actually felt really good for it i've been definitely feeling like of an afternoon a flag is that the word like where i'm like oh this is where i'd have a coffee to boost me up but i've just moved past it like had a orange that is what we are doing this morning i'm gonna get ready for the day i need to do my hair properly and style my bangs and put them in a roller and then i'm gonna head over to birmingham and film a come shop because i haven't filmed one for a couple weeks and that's a lightweight because i love filming them and i know you guys really enjoy them as well so i really want to pick this spot but yeah my piercings i this top one now like it's just very dry like it's got a lot of dry skin they've just took longer to heal than i think they probably should have but they're so awkward to heal because yeah i've still got the key lord i can see it it's really hard because i always sleep on that side of my head and obviously they're really pressed up especially this one it gets really pressed up against my head so i feel like i haven't probably helped my case because i always end up sleeping on this side like no matter where i'm it's just more comfortable i tried to sleep on this side but i always end up on this side so they've probably <sighs> took a little bit longer than necessary but oh well they will heal and i would like to get my third to read them because they're just so gone my seconds are okay but my thirds are so gone yeah i can even see my seconds oh guys i ordered a menstrual cup i ordered it from holland and barrett last night because i found one that was organic it had no toxic um like chemicals in it had no bpa which is like a toxic plastic and it seemed like my mum's gonna dry her hair this is a good time to go but it seemed like a really safe option it was called the organi cup so i ordered it from holland and barrett because on amazon it was like 24 pound i think on holland and barrett it was 14 pound on sale <coughs> there was three sizes one for teenagers or people who like don't have regular sex um one for like under 30 who hasn't has had kids and then one for over 30 or someone who has had kids so i've got the this one so i am really excited to go and pick that up so i ordered it to holland and barrett because it was free click and collect and i actually thought that our holland and barrett had shut but it hasn't it's open it's in town so we can go and pick that up and then we can try it because i'm going on my period so i'm really excited to try i probably will put it in when i get back because obviously i don't want to be walking around birmingham with it because it might take a little bit of getting used to it adjusting so yeah i'll give you a full review of that but i'm gonna sit and get ready i'm gonna put this battery on charge because i've only got one charge and i don't want to lose you guys midway through the day so i'm gonna finish getting ready do my hair and everything and then i'll pick you guys up when i'm picking an outfit because it's really grey outside today i feel like it's a proper autumn day and i would like to pick a very cozy fit so we can do that and then yeah we can just get on with our day so this is how we look now the bangs dried awful and then it will be back should we do a transition she's ready for the day we are about to pick a fit i really want to wear this jumper that i got from boohoo but i'm just trying to figure out I, w I was planning on wearing it with like cream leggings i don't think it's sensible that i wear cream leggings so i'm thinking maybe like a baggy jean but it's like a chocolate brown cable and it's really cute it's really soft and like you know when a jumper's like squidgy it's really lovely so i'm thinking this and then oh, it's really annoying because i know this would look so cute with cream 
like leather trousers or something. I've got a Topshop pair that I found, but I don't think it is wise. So I'm thinking this and then my Louis and then my Uggs would be cute. So I'm thinking probably just a blue jean. So let me throw a pair on and then we can see how it looks. Okay, I've thrown on these ASOS design jeans. I really like these jeans actually. They are literally ASOS design. They were really affordable. And they're just like a straight leg, light blue wash. So this is the jumper. I don't know whether it's gonna be like too harsh, but I feel like black jeans won't go. Mm, okay. What do we think? I never really wear baggy and baggy. Mm, I feel like it doesn't look as cute as it could. I feel like it's a shame. really have anything else to wear with this it has to be cream legging socks and uggs doesn't it okay i've got another jumper that we could do again it's from boohoo but it's like a cream color and this looked really cute when i tried this on i think this will go with blue okay so i tried this on with low rise jeans and it looked really cute but with high rise it's not really giving the vibes okay outfit sorted so this is what i've gone for uggs boohoo sheen like skims dupe it's the sheen bay top and then this is that chocolate brown jumper but i've just put it on as a shrug instead and i feel like it works really well and then i've just decided what bag i don't know whether this is like too much texture or whether it looks cute i feel like it might be a bit too much so we could go black because i mean we've got black jeans on this bag from primark might be quite nice it's like a fendi dupe what do you think about that what does it clash i feel like the louis bag is too much or we've got a cream this is heavy i feel like that's too white um but yeah this is the fit anyway cute i really like wearing these because they just look really comfortable and i'm just going to spray some perfume i'm going to mix this which is back wrap rouge intense which is so good it's on it, well, I, I got it off tiktok all those months ago but i don't know if they sell it on there anymore or whether they've like got copyrighted because obviously it's a juice so i feel like i don't see as many but then the stanley cups are everywhere I don't see as many of those like Marc Jacobs tote bags and then that's perfect by Marc Jacobs. Those are really nice scents. So this is the fit. I will go over to Birmingham and then I will reconvene with you guys afterwards. I'm just going to pack my bag, jump over there and then we can reconvene in a little bit. Quick interlude. I was a... I don't like walking up here to be honest. So I was used to be really scared when I was younger and I feel like the fear has not left. I was a bit early for my train, so I thought I'd quickly run to Holland and Barrett to get the menstrual cup. I won't put it in till I get home, but it's actually really sad here because everything's just so, like short. Like literally that whole thing just is short. It's so sad. Town centres can be so sad. Pew zones still open though somehow. I see so many things being like that has got to be a tax. I mean, who knows? Oh, I hate Tim Samuels is there, but they've left half their stock. He's shut, but they've left half their stock. I feel like if you live in a small town, you will get the judgment vloggers. They do not exist here. I haven't been here for so long. Oh my god, they actually have so much stuff. I feel like I could spend all day in here. Organic sugar. Actually, we've got so many natural deodorants in here. Because this one's sort of the earth. They've got a spray and a roll on. And they've also got these roll on ones. And they've got Dr. Organic. And they've got lavender and all different scents. I feel like I need to come in here and proper look. Yes, that's what we'll do one day. Thank you, guys. I've got the goods. Okay, guys, we are home. And boy, have we been struck with a bad one. Period pains. <sighs> bad. I don't know what my hot water bottle is and I just literally 
I just couldn't, I just couldn't, like I was on the train and I was literally like, just get me home right now. I'm literally gonna get into bed, but before I do, I think I'm just, I mean it, it's 20 to three, so I'm gonna have like an hour or so just chilling, but I obviously picked up my menstrual cup, so I thought I might as well try it. This is the one that I got, it's the organic cup, and it, it says wear up to 12 hours health then no, it says like healthier it's no bpa latex or dyes and it's minimal waste so the first time you have to with the first time you put it in you have to boil it like sterilize it so that's what i'm going to do now and then i'll pop it in and i'll let you guys know how it is but this is how it this is how it looks if this is tmi just skip but i mean we're all girls here we all know what this is about so this is how it looks there's different ways that you can put it in i feel like i've never heard anyone talk about this so i'm really excited so let me sterilize it and then i will come back and we could reconvene i've got a few parcels that i need to open i've got something from zara today so i'll show you that and we can try it on and stuff but i've literally just took my jeans off threw some joggers on just uncomfortable and i'm just going to chill because i just feel like drained from the period to be honest i haven't had a period like this for a long time and i'm like I forgot how bad they could be. Could this be a cosy setup for us to do an unboxing? I hope so. So, the cup situation, actually, no big deal. Like, put it in really easily, haven't had any pain. I feel like I was a bit worried about it just causing more cramps, but it hasn't so far. So, that's good. But I got this... Um, PR package from Femme Fresh actually, which you know is a bit of a fave of mine. So it says, Dear Jody, please find enclosed your Femme Fresh box. We can't wait to see how you incorporate the products into your daily routine and inspire freshers to feel Femme Fresh every day during their uni years. Best wishes, Femme Fresh. So this is the only one I've ever used, but they sent their daily wash, which I've used this one. Then they sent their soothing wash, which I've actually wanted to try. It's the white and pink one. And then they also sent a 0% sensitive wash. Which I'm intrigued to try these. And then these are the sensitive wipes. Which are just good for... If you just need like a freshen up. So... Thank you Femme Fresh. What is this? Oh, this is an invoice, right? So at my dad's house, we have to pay like a maintenance because it's a private road. And the like the price they charge anyway is pretty extortionate. And then apparently they went over budget this year and they're in a deficit. So now we have to pay more. And I'm like, you don't even, like the gates will break. They won't fix them for months. And I'm like, what on earth? But whatever. So what else did I want to show you? Oh yeah, the, the cup also came with this little organic bag to keep it in for like in between your periods or traveling which i thought was actually really nice and ordering on holland and barrett was actually so straightforward and then zara haul you're gonna run out of storage so one sec so yeah it came with that little organic bag so we love that honestly feels fine i mean i'll let you guys know obviously how it goes like sleeping in it and stuff and taking it out and then i also got some print from zara today so i saw these and they just looked like like skims like fits all sort of very thin slinky tops and i really wanted just a plain white long sleeve top so I got this, it was 15 99 I got it in a size small. It came in sizes, small, medium, large. This is the code, if you guys want one. I think these came in black, white, and like a mauve, like a purple. It was really nice, but it looks quite like, not sheer, but I feel like you'd see a bra under it. But it might look quite cool, but I just needed like a basic white top. And I saw that and thought, brilliant. So I've watched an episode of Kardashians. I've watched Molly May's Office tour. It's so gorgeous. The vibes there are immaculate. I feel a little bit better now. I feel like I just needed to 
just like not be you know when you're like out and about on your period sometimes it's just the worst i feel like i just needed to take a sec one of mckenna's old vlogs just came on but i'm gonna ollie's working late tonight so i haven't got a rush to do dinner or anything but i think i might just start it soon i think i'm gonna do that chicken fried rice like honey chicken thing so we can cook that together in a little bit I need to get some water oh what i think actually did help my period was i got no hot water bottle so i was like right so i was thinking what can i have to try and soothe it and i had some pomegranate tea and it's meant to really help and like soothe your female organs and i feel like it did because i had just one cup with boiling hot water and i feel a lot better for it so yeah that's all i really did to help so yeah i need to pay this the audacity to overspend and then ask for more money. I don't quite think that's how it works, but I wouldn't mind if they weren't so bad, but they really are so slow at fixing everything. Like the gates will break and it will take them weeks. But whatever, we move. I'll have to pay that. What can you do, hey? So yeah, that's everything that I've really got to show you guys. I will pick you back up when we cook dinner. And I'm just going to chill for a little bit, to be honest. I need to drink some water because I feel very thirsty. And yeah. And then this evening, I honestly don't know what we're going to do. I was going to tan tonight, but I think I might tan tomorrow. So that I'm fresh for Friday and Saturday. And me and me need to make a plan of what we are going to do on friday where we want to go i just don't feel inspired with the birthday makes me feel sad because i'm always such a birthday girl and i'm like mm, i don't know i think it's because i don't have any plans so i don't i'm not excited about anything so i don't know what i'm doing i don't know we'll figure it out half four I pick yours up when I cook dinner. Honey sesame chicken and egg fried rice. That's we used to have each other's playlists. No, no. Used to be each other's best okay quickly i meal prepped one for ollie's lunch so you guys can see how it looks it's not as like dark and sticky i don't really know why i didn't follow the oh my god the period pains oh. it's not as dark as sticky i didn't really follow the recipe because i just don't have it in me but it looks good and it tastes good because i did try it but i've put sesame seeds on it it's got chicken and rice and egg and loads of veg and it's a really good meal prep recipe actually <sighs> good morning guys let's get ourselves ready the current state of me is inside out pajamas so let's jump in the shower and feel a bit better <laughs> Wow. Guys, why am I absolutely freezing today? Like, it's so cold, I cannot. Even with my hot water bottle last night, I slept with my hot water bottle, with my heated blanket on, and I was absolutely froze the whole night. And I'm like, froze to the core. It's so cold today. Who remembers this jumper? Is it Bershka? I think I got it in London last Christmas. Okay, right, let's get ready for pretty much nothing today. I've spent the morning editing and so I've been editing a video. I'm gonna go and see my nan and then I've got to take my grandma to an appointment this afternoon. So we don't really need to get ready, but I just wanna feel you know, put together. So, so, so. First of all, let's put a little bit of Laneige on the lips because my lips are so dry. Let's say some things we're grateful for because I feel like I'm in a bit of a funk and I want to get out of it. By the way, the birthday glow up, I don't even know if that's happening. 
the period cramps last night were playing me so bad like I couldn't bring myself to get out of bed and tan so it's gonna have to be tonight which is fine I'm just gonna have to do it tonight because we're going out tomorrow so which and I don't know where we're going because Mia is gonna book it so I've just left it completely in her hands that's my serum, my vitamin C serum and SPF. Oh, I forgot to put my, I'm doing this in the complete wrong order, but we are just going to ignore that. I like putting this on because it just brightens my under eye. I think there's a ghost in this house today because Sasha has just lost her head more than usual. And now like Frankie's running, in, running around in circles and she never does stuff like that. And she's just scrapped the door, I don't know what is going on so some things we're grateful for we are grateful for waking up this morning and opening our eyes being blessed with another day we are grateful to have a roof over our head we are grateful to have a support network we're grateful to have food in the fridge we're grateful to have pets that love us we are grateful to have clothes we are grateful to have opportunities we are grateful to have a birthday this week because that is a big blessing a new chapter oh wow look at that my lashes are actually growing with the uk lash because i looked at some photos that i took before i used it and they definitely have grown and i have put it occasionally not every night but i have put it a few times on my bottom lashes just for the fun of it and I feel like they have really grown. Listen to her. Frank, Frankie, what's the matter? She's literally running like this in circles. What's the matter? Look at that. They have definitely, definitely grown. I should take a picture while they're lifting. Gosh, they look so long. Also, loving this deodorant. Frankie, loving this deodorant. I've had it for about two weeks now, I think, and it's really good. So I definitely recommend this. It's a aluminium free one by Sanex. I got it from Boots. Um, I think I'm just gonna give my face a spray. And that is all we're gonna do to our face. We're just gonna, Frankie, what is it? What is it? She doesn't want to wait because the back door's wide open. Sorry, we ran out of storage. What's new? So, hoops, Primark. I need to do something with my hair, but I don't know what. They sound very close. I also need to brush my teeth. I also need to put my thing on charge, this on charge, because it is dead. I'll do that later. This is the toothpaste that I use, Euthamol. And I love it. It's really minty. It's pink. Okay, teeth are clean. Hair, I think I'm gonna put half up, half down, but just redo that. Well, we've been watching the Beckham documentary and I actually really like it. We've watched two now, we've got two left. I actually really like, and it's just wild that he was so young, like he was younger than me now and I feel so young, like I cannot imagine. And I didn't realise that he, obviously we weren't born when he went through all of that like World Cup drama, but the hatred is just, crazy and like they were saying the i don't know who the man is who is like filming it but he like asks them questions sometimes and he like obviously makes remarks and he said like the british press are just like no other like they go wild at, like celebrities and like they really go after them and i was like is it not like that in other countries i was like oh <laughs> i thought that that was just every country but i actually think that it is a british thing so that's nice for us british people that preach kindness and mental health that that is a reputation that we have so perfume gonna go back around classic and i'm literally 
ready. I could just spray this for 10 hours, to be honest. That is me ready for the day. I love this bag from Amazon so much. It's so cute. Keep, I've just been keeping up my skincare and stuff in it and it's just easy. I can grab it and no matter where I'm doing it, whether it's in here, whether it's in my room, in my bed, like whatever, it's all together and I'm not like picking single products and trying to carry them all with me. So that is that. I didn't sleep with the menstrual cup in last night because I didn't know whether it was making me need a wee, but I just like went for three or four wees in the space of an hour and I barely drank anything and I was like it's kind of weird and my cramps were so bad and I was like right let's wait for these to like settle and then we'll go again so I've put it back in this morning but I just didn't want obviously because it do, you can't feel it in there but I was just aware it was in there and I was like I'm already in real discomfort I was like I don't want to add to it so I did take it out and just wore a pad but we've got it back in so it doesn't hurt or anything and it's i can't feel it now but last night i was in so much pain i like literally like jumping out of the bed and i was like i can't like let's just take this out and i can't deal with anything else being in the area so just rinsing my my teeth what i've used with my diamond white aligners by the way are these my brother got them me from b and m but he did because he had invisalign he went with invisalign he actually got these these cleaning crystals so i might give these a go and see what i think i don't know hey there oh they're in like little sachets there's quite a few in here so i think i might try these at one point but yeah he went with invisalign so he got those but he very kindly brought me those which is so cute i'm just brushing them i always soak them for like at least i'd say 20 minutes in the denture solution and then i just give them like a rinse and then i just give them a brush just to make sure they're clean i'd like to get my teeth whitened now that they're straight i would like to get them whitened so if you know anyone that's good let me know and they actually last because i've heard a lot of people say like they got them done and they were white whiter for a day or like a couple weeks and then they just like faded back i know that they probably inevitably are gonna fade back eventually but i'd like some long lasting results so yeah let me know if you know any good clinics or anyone local if you're like local to me then let me know because i would love them just whitened a bit so yeah i'm just gonna what am i gonna do I'm just gonna put all this stuff neatly away and then we'll be on the way to my nan so i'll see you guys in the car it's time for a birthday glow up bestie we are about to glow up and show up for our 23rd year we have got one more day of being 22 and i feel like this year has gone so fast whatever let's not talk about it we'll leave it for another day to have a real how we feel about turning 23 but years go so fast and you know what this is a very good point my cousin told me this so you know when you were younger let's say you were nine or ten or even younger six or seven you used to think your birthday felt so long ago and it'd be like christmas felt so long ago and like it felt felt like when you were younger like christmas barely came around whereas i feel like when you get older christmas is a they're coming like every couple months you're like shit it's christmas you know like it comes really fast the years fly and he said i don't know whether you guys could understand this but it, i was like oh i understand that you know when you're six a year is a sixth of your life so it feels like a big chunk of your life is that year whereas when you're like 30 a year is only a 30th of your life like it's nothing you've lived so many years already it's such like a small part of what you've lived and what you can remember it's like insignificant it's like this much and you're like christmas was here christmas was here christmas was here when you're six right 
like imagine okay when you're six this is all you've lived Christmas 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 I was like you're a genius I was like I understand it I was like I completely understand it now so we are gonna tan and I'm also gonna try this I don't know how it's gonna go because I don't know these things they're over they either work so good or they completely flop and fail do I do this first and then tan? Because I don't really want to be messing with my hair when I'm tanned. So this is the Bouncy Blow Band. And this is like a heatless curl, but it's got like four. So we're really going into like octopus energy with this. It's this brand. It's literally Bouncy Blow Band. Like that is their brand name. So... It's got an inbuilt hair clip and it's got inbuilt hair ties, which is actually a really good idea because they are really hard. So it says, we recommend using an either dry or slumped or slightly damp hair, but not wet. All hair types vary, so we recommend trying out dry or slightly damp hair so you can see what works best for your hair type. Start by brushing out any knots and part the hair in the centre. If using all arms, two arms on each side, create two sections on the hair. Create two sections of hair on each side, one section for the front and one for the back. Secure the bouncy blow band on the head. So which way do you wrap them forward and back? Okay. As you wrap her, yeah. So it's, it's similar, but it's just, instead of having two, you've got four. So. Should we make a TikTok of this? I feel like this could be. Oh, we need a ring light in here. How much better is that? I actually look like a human. Damn, I feel like a woman. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, right. Part your hair. Okay. And then I guess we're going to... I need a bobble. Oh, I'll use that grip. Damn, I feel like a woman. Alright, we're gonna clip this. And then I guess if this is like this, we'll half it by the ear. We could maybe take a bit more. And it's just Oh my god, my phone keeps doing this thing where it just turns off. Okay, right. I'm scared. What about the bangs? The bangs probably won't go well, will they? We're going to do it super tight. I hope this works. I feel like they're so hard to get to work. Is that all the hair I left? Maybe a little bit more. Okay, we're tying this one. I feel like I should have done the back one first because now I'm going to be able to see. Okay guys, I'll come back once this is done because this is really boring. Who can make my life complete? Justin Bieber. But I gotta keep my hair for Selena. You be in the beat. Okay, this is how the hair turned out. I feel like I did this side tighter. I don't know really about this bit, but I'm just gonna leave it. I might just grip it like at the back to just keep it like that. I think it depends, like see that's just a completely different shape. I feel like you have to go from behind. When you do it from the front, it just doesn't sit. So I did these all from behind and I did that from behind and that's just a different position. So I think I might grip that, but this is how we're looking. So we will see. Tan is done. I just mixed, I used this for like my dry areas tonight, the E45 moisturizing lotion. So good if you've got dry skin, honestly would 10 out of 10 recommend. 
I'm just going to put a little bit on my face. You can put this on face and body. He's also um, like fragrance free, if that's important for you guys. My little brother used to have really bad eczema and he used to be prescribed this. And Ollie has just naturally very dry skin and this is really good for him. So, and I don't know why the last few weeks I've had really dry, probably put tan all on my face now, but well. Um, I've had really dry forehead. I'm gonna take a little bit of this tan just on this Kabuki brush and just, Top tip with tan, make sure you really get it into your hairline else you're going to have that like horrible line. And also make sure you do your ears. Else you're going to have tanned face and body and white ears and then I just always blend into my neck. So tan talk, I use this Simper Ritz in medium and this is their tanning mousse colour correcting. It's really good. It's got... um the orange no it's the green one i've also used the purple one but i really like the green one and i actually mixed it with the loving tan to our express in ultra dark this is just a really good tan and i wanted to try them together because i like them individually i've tried them with other tans but i thought let's do a little collab with these two so they are what i used i also used the coco and eve kabuki brush which honestly if you're into tan order this they said on look fantastic i think now they like stopped, Coco and Evie stopped so much. I used to work with them when I first started YouTube, like literally had probably 200 subscribers and they reached out and I started using their hair mask and it made me fall in love with hair care, that's no joke. And then I started using their tan and honestly, that was three years ago, probably almost. And this is the only Kabuki brush I will use for my hands. Honestly, like this is the one I go back to all the time. It's the best one. You guys will not find a better one. It's just, I've got two or three of these now. And honestly, they last so well. They're so like compact, unreal. And then I use the Loving Tan Mitt, which isn't my, I don't really care for mitts that much. It isn't my favorite one. I do like one with a thumb, but that was just one that was fresh. And I thought it's my birthday tan. I'm going to use a fresh mitt. So you can see I've missed a little bit on my hand. So yeah, that is my tan done, my hair done. Oh, I really need to pin this. It needs to be like that, doesn't it? Just a complete different shape. I feel that this side will be better. Trust me to get back into the tanning life when I've just literally changed my sheets two days ago. And why do I have white sheets? why would any girl have white sheets but of course girls they all want white sheets because we're stu because we're stupid we're silly we don't think about it we need like black to become i wish like black sheets look cute but i just feel like they don't okay right see you guys in the morning I'm gonna go off to bed now it is quarter past 10 so i'm gonna jump into bed and i will see you guys bright and early tomorrow this is how we're looking tan wise. Really nice actually, not sticky. Loving tan really doesn't go sticky. Shall I show you my hair from the back? Sorry, let me just show you from the back. Okay. What do we think? Do we think I did a good job? I'll, next time I do it, obviously depending on the results, if I feel like we can do better, then I'll try it on damp or spray a bit of water on, but I didn't know what to do because every time I look through TikTok comments of people doing this, they always say, do it on do it on dry hair don't do it on wet but i feel like when it first came about everyone was like do it on wet hair so i feel like we've just learned a lie so this is how we look with the flash nothing better than just going to bed like this like this is girlhood fresh layer of tan hair in these stupid heatless curling hacks fresh biab clean sheets not practical but honestly this is being a girl never been so happy love you guys and i will see you in the morning my teeth look so white i think my face is going to be really dark <laughs> good night good morning guys the hair actually stayed in pretty well like better than i've ever known it i think it's because like the hair ties physically can't come off
the band, obviously with a normal band, and it, you know what it is? It's because it's silky, the other one, so like your hair just slides, but this is how the hair is looking, so who knows? But this is the tan before I'm so cold. <laughs> Honestly, I set my hot water bottle last night. I didn't even open the window. I said to Holly, like, I cannot open the window. I was like, I'm so cold. I was holding on to it. I need to order a heated blanket because we have one at Ollie's. And it's just the best thing ever. Like, it just, I can wrap up in it. Whereas I don't have one here. And I don't want to bring that one here, obviously. But I really need to order one. I need to get on Amazon and order one now. Because I am cold. So, I'm going to jump in the shower, wash this off. We will do how am I going to do this? Um, I don't think I have my shower cappies. I don't know if Ted is there first. I might just avoid in the water. I think I might just avoid getting this way. So be up be. But good morning. Happy Friday. Okay, guys, we are out the shower. My tan is a really nice, just medium colour nothing crazy and I'm just about to start getting ready so I'm gonna put this on so I haven't put it on for a few days because I keep forgetting it's got separated from the rest of the pack it's the inky list hyaluronic serum I wish this spot would dry I've been tempted to get some of those you know like the thing it has dried it's just red I was going to say I'm kind of tempted to get some of those. Is it like, I think they do have zip sticker in the UK, but in Boots there's one called Starface. I was tempted to get some, but my spots do dry up. Like, they're never poppable, really. Look, it's just red. I'm just going in with the Kylie eye cream. Oh, guys, this might, they might, oh, I also got a cup of tea. It's my birthday, so I said they'd make me a cup of tea, which never happens. I was like, yeah, please. Princess treatment only. I was scrolling on my phone last night and I saw that antelope Uggs are in stock on shoe. That's Sasha downstairs having a break down. And I was like, as if for starters because i've never seen them in stock in anywhere like other than ugg and then they just sold out so fast last year so i got mine off StockX, and we paid a little bit more but i got them for my birthday not a lot more but like with the shipping and everything i'm sure it was like i can't even remember but they are or they were in stock last night on shoe all sizes were available i linked it on my story but if you don't follow me if they're still in stock then i'll put the link below but go on to shoe as if they just had them like ah oh, okay there's, there's five and six in stock three four seven and eight are out but last night i swear to god they were all in stock and then i linked them on my story because i was like guys but it was it was quite like it's like 12 but i was like as if but they had antelope they've got gray they've got chestnut and they've also got black but they had antelope for 145 so if you love the Uggs that I wear, check or put them on like, it just say like email when back in stock, which I think means that they will restock them. So get on shoe and if you want them, there you go. I was like, as if. Just going in with that moisturizer so i'm wondering today how this will wear under makeup because i have found it sits on fine on my face towards the end of the day if i'm rubbing my face it does start what's the word like flaking a little bit and i hate that about mo like moisturizers it hasn't done it like in the morning in the day it's towards the end of the day and it isn't only if i'm rubbing like i don't think it would flake off because sometimes they do flake off don't they on their own i don't think that would happen but it does have the tendency to just to warn you guys but it is a really nice it's like a light spf and because it's got the vitamin c and i'm going to keep using it and i feel like it suits me like my skin but yeah just a little just a little warning don't rub your face you shouldn't rub your face anyway though my lashes when they're curled they look so long 
at that. Crazy. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb. What? Wow. Imagine if I, I don't think they ever would because I don't think. I do. I don't know. I was gonna say. I can't wait till like they touch my eyebrows, but I feel like I've got quite a lot of room, like skin in between my eyes and my eyebrows. Maybe if my eyebrows were further down. Oh my god! Look at that. Botox at twenty three. <laughs> No, I don't know how I feel about this preventive Botox thing. I've talked, I've had a few conversations with people about it, and I feel like it's obviously a personal decision. But a lot of people say like Botox is preventative, or you can get. I saw Emily Kaiser, that American TikToker, she got a different version of Botox. I can't remember what it's called. Now, I was telling Mira about it. Dry, dry cut. I don't know but she got that but I don't know how I feel about Botox being preventive like obviously I've got no wrinkles unless I go like that but this camera smooths it or like that you know smile lines nothing crazy like a little bit here but like is Botox preventative or when you start getting wrinkles do you just get the Botox and fill it in and then I know people are like yeah but then you'll never see the Botox but as soon as you'd see the wrinkle no people say like oh but if you are preventative then when the wrinkles would come you you will never see them i'm like but would i just get it done would i not just get the botox if i wanted the botox if it bothered me so i don't know i don't know how i feel about that i don't know how i feel like when you see like really like people my age like i would never think i mean it's obviously like i said it's a personal choice you do you but i just would never think are oh, like botox is for me at this age and then when i see people get it i'm like as if like i just think it's crazy because i feel so young and i'm like are we at that stage of our life i don't know the whole botox preventative i don't know it confuses me i don't know how i don't know how to feel about it gonna brush my braids off and then let them sit for a little bit and then they should stay i need to order a new by la because this this is the one that dried up anyway so i started using my other one and now that one's dried up so i've gone back to the original i had a dream last night that ollie was cousins with the kardashians and it was rob's wedding i don't know who's getting married to it wasn't china and he was ollie was doing a speech and then he and then he proposed to but it wasn't like to get married. It was Ollie proposed during his speech to be joined at the hip 24 hours a day. And I was like, well, what about our lives? <laughs> and Taylor Blue was there. I don't know what was going on. And she and then she brought over these like drinks as congratulations. And I was like, oh no, I don't drink. And she's like, no, no, it's full fat Coke. And I was like, oh, okay. And then when you just think, who has cooked up that dream? What was the meaning? Like, you know, if you see a a meaningful person in a dream you're like ah oh, or you get a message what the hell was that for that i'm an anxious girlfriend who wants to be around a boyfriend 24 7 i don't know that that was literally the proposal he was like can we be joined at the hip 24 7 and i was like what about our lives but i was like yes <laughs> oh my god dreams are wild wild but it was like chris jenner's house it was gorge it was a real good time and like kylie was there had all this kylie merch looked like such an embarrassing fangirl but who cares i was at the wedding with the kardashians i can't believe it's my birthday this time of year already back at school we would be i bet today if i was at school i would you know what was cool when it was your birthday at school and like if your friends used to get you like a balloon or like you know you'd be walking with a birthday bag or something and people would be like happy birthday in the corridor walking past, happy birthday, thank you, happy birthday, thanks, 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 oh, school was such a time, okay, right, I'm gonna let these marinate, I don't know whether to start another vlog, just because, then we can, then I can get this edited and put up on Sunday, and then we can have, like, a whole birthday video next week, 
I think that's what I'm going to do because I don't want you guys to miss out on a vlog for Sunday but I also know that I'm not going to be able to get my whole birthday vlog edited and ready for you guys on Sunday so I'm thinking if we end this vlog here hello angels it is jody from the future just popping in to round this vlog off so that was the end of the weekly vlog when i ended that vlog i did start a brand new birthday vlog which will be coming i apologize that this that i didn't get this up yesterday but i just like friday and saturday and pretty much all of sunday just spent the whole day like with family with ollie just like celebrating and I didn't get a chance to edit this vlog so I just wanted to apologize that it was a little bit late but I hope you guys did enjoy it I know it was very like at home but this week I'm definitely going to be out doing some more fun activities and things so yeah I'm vlogging today as always a new weekly vlog has begun so thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for all the birthday love and messages and like anyone that sent me a message or anything it means so much to me so I love you guys so much don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give the video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy this video let me know what you want to see for the rest of the month of October and I will see you guys in my next vlog, which will be the birthday vlog, celebrations, brunch with Mia, what I got for my birthday, Ollie's surprise, everything. So I love you guys and I will see you soon. Goodbye.